Chief Minister for the ninth time, Nitish Kumar, set to address the media at the Raj Bhavan in moments from now. We'll go across live, but we are tracking his sixth political somersault and all the drama that's playing itself out in Patna, in Bihar and in the build-up to the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Nitish begins ninth inning. Another stunning JDU turn. Resignation and oath in six hours. Palti Putra does it again. Nitish's NDA Vapsi. The ultimate Indian political gymnast. If political gymnastics was an Olympic sport, Nitish would be a front runner for the gold medal. Let me take you through the headlines we are tracking this evening. Nitish Kumar takes the oath of office as Bihar Chief Minister for a record ninth time with eight ministers taking the oath with him. Samrat Chaudhary, Vijay Sinha sworn in as the new deputy CMs of Bihar. Jitendra Ramanji's son and three JDU ministers also take the oath of office. RJD loses the Bihar Game of Thrones. Tejasvi Yadav hits out with Nitish for betrayal, claims the game has just begun. Nitish's somersault, a big blow for the India bloc before the 24 elections. Opposition loses its so-called patriarch. Uh, Rahul Gandhi mum, Congress's Jairam Ramesh and Samajwadi Party's Akhilesh fire a big betrayal giant. UPCM Yogi Adityanath's first reaction on the Gyan Vyapi ASI survey report calls the finding of Hindu relics inside the mosque historic. In a short while from now, newly elected or re-elected or re-re-re-elected Chief Minister Nitish Kumar will be speaking to the media. Before we go across to his press conference, I want to show you some of the snatches of the comments and reactions that came in from the new cast and crew of the Bihar government. They were speaking to India Today's Bureau Chief in Patna, Rohit Kumar Singh, as they were exiting the Raj Bhavan. So let's listen to the new team that's just been sworn in this evening. पुराने गठबंधन एक तरफ फिर हो गए हैं एक तरफ सब कुछ ठीक है एकदम ठीक रहेगा बिहार के विकास के लिए ही काम करना काम करेंगे आपकी कोई नाराजगी तो नहीं है बहुत आप थोड़ा नाराज रहते थे नीतीश जी से व्यक्तिगत को लड़ाई नहीं होती है राजनीतिक लड़ाई है अभी अब तो अब दोनों पार्टियों का मिलन हो गया है व्यक्तिगत लड़ाई का कोई स्थान नहीं क्या आप चाहते थे कि नहीं चाहते बताइए आपको धन्यवाद आपको फिर नई जिम्मेदारी मिली है जब जो जिम्मेदारी मिलती है हम लोग ईमानदारी से निभाते हैं फिर एक बार कोशिश करें देखो जंगल राज से नीतीश कुमार परेशान थे बढ़ते हुए जो वहां पर कुशासन था आपस के बीच का जो अविश्वास था आपस के बीच का इससे वो परेशान थे इसलिए ऐसी बात नहीं कि एकाएक वो आए उन्होंने मंथन किया अच्छा है डबल इंजन की सरकार बिहार में आ गई है सभा और आगे भी फायदा होगा इसका मतलब लोग साथ आए चालीस में चालीस चालीस में चालीस चलिए शुक्रिया भाई देखिए एनडीए की सरकार है ये प्रधानमंत्री जी के सोच वाली सरकार है ये और उम्मीद ही नहीं पूरा विश्वास है देखिए ये बात किसी से छुपी नहीं है मेरा अंधविश्वास है मेरे प्रधानमंत्री पर तो ऐसे में जब प्रधानमंत्री जी की सोच वाली सरकार हमारे प्रदेश को मिली है जितनी जन कल्याण की योजनाएं हैं गरीब कल्याण की जो प्रधानमंत्री जी से जुड़ी जितनी भी योजनाएं हैं उम्मीद ही नहीं पूरा विश्वास है अब मजबूती से उसको धरातल पर उतारा जाएगा मैं मानता हूं कि आज जब एनडीए की सरकार है प्रधानमंत्री जी के सोच वाली सरकार है डबल इंजन की सरकार है तो यकीन उन नीतियों को धरातल पर उतारा जाएगा जिसकी अपेक्षा हम लोग को लंबे समय इफ यूर इंटरेस्टेड इन पोलिटिकल ट्रिविया जे जय ललिता इन तमिलनाड was sworn in as chief minister six times in himachal pradesh raja virbhadra singh was sworn in six times pavan kumar chamling was sworn in five times navin patnaik has been sworn in five times jyoti basu in west bengal has been sworn in uh, five times 
Nitish Kumar has been sworn in for the ninth time. If you just add up the number of days he's been in power, he's now been in power for 6,359 days and counting. Uh, Shri Krishna Singh uh, was CM for 3,199 days, almost half that, and Rabri Devi was Chief Minister for 2,746. So Nitish Kumar breaking various political records with this swearing. It's Nitish 9.0 that's taken oath as the Chief Minister of Bihar. Uh, he officially snapped ties with the RJD earlier today, uh, resigning as the Chief Minister of the Mahagad Bandhan Sarkar and in less than six hours of being interim Chief Minister, Nitish was back in the CM's chair, this time yet again with the BJP support. <laughs> Nitish Kumar takes oath as the Chief Minister of Bihar a ninth time. The JDU chief ended the suspense on Sunday morning, making yet another somersault, this time from the India bloc to the NDA. Nitish made his way to the Raj Bhavan twice in the morning, first to tender his resignation and second time to submit the BJP's letter of support. From denial of convener post to scams by RJD leaders. JDU sources listed many reasons to justify the umpteenth jump by the socialist leader. The man himself was less forthright. अभी अभी हम जो पहले गठबंधन को छोड़ के नए गठबंधन बनाए थे जो नया गठबंधन डेढ़ महीना से बनाए थे डेढ़ साल हैं डेढ़ साल से तो यहाँ पर भी जो स्थिति इधर आकर के ठीक नहीं लगी है आज जिस तरह से लोगों का दावा हो रहा था जो इतना मेहनत किया जाता था कि वही लोग ये सब काम कर रहे हैं वो सब जहाँ धीरे-धीरे लोगों को खराब लग रहा है अरे इसलिए नौबत हुई है कि ठीक नहीं चल रहा था Along with Nitish, eight other ministers took oath. While the fresh alliance will benefit the BJP and the JDU in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, the two parties are having a hard time defending it. और सभी विधायकों ने एक मत से वो प्रस्ताव पारित किया जिस प्रस्ताव में भाजपा जदयू सभी एनडीए के मित्र पक्ष मिलकर एनडीए की सरकार बिहार में बनाई जाए बिहार के बिहार वासियों के हित के लिए ये सरकार बने ये सब दल कांग्रेस पार्टी से लड़कर के भारत की राजनीति में इन्होंने एक अपना स्थान बनाया है कांग्रेस पार्टी अपने सर्वाइवल के दौर से गुजर रही है पिछले दो लोकसभा चुनाव में नेता प्रतिपक्ष के लायक भी उनके पास सांसद नहीं थे स्टैंड बाय द टर्न ऑफ इवेंट्स द आरजेडी एंड कांग्रेस आर एट अ लॉस ऑफ वर्ड्स लाइक द प्रोवर्बियल कैट विद नाइन लाइव्स नितिश कुमार हैज डेफिनेटली मैनूवर्ड बिहार्स पॉलिटिकल लैंडमाइंड to stay in power for nearly 20 years will this be the last summer salt by the man who has been given the derisive name of paltu ram by his political friends and rivals with polami saha and rohit singh in patna bureau report india today tejashwi yadav has reacted to nitish kumar switching over and doing another palti baaz like only nitish can let's listen to what his former deputy cm एंड आर जे डी लीडर तेजस्वी यादव है टू से और हम इतना अपने लोगों को आश्वस्त करते हैं कि ना हमें गुस्सा है ना हमें नाराजगी है हम बड़े संयम रूप से हम लोगों ने गठबंधन धर्म का जो है पालन किया है और उसी हिसाब से हम लोग आगे जनता के बीच अपनी बातों को रखेंगे लेकिन एक बात स्पष्ट रूप से मैं कह देना चाहता हूँ कि अभी खेल शुरू हुई है अभी खेल बाकी है और मैं जो कहता हूं वो करता हूं प्रोफेसर संजय कुमार व्हाट डू यू मेक विद द काइंड ऑफ कामनेस दैट तेजस्वी यादव इज रिएक्टिंग ही नॉट सीमिंग परटर्ब ही ऑलमोस्ट सीम्स प्रिपेयर्ड टू वेट प्ले द वेटिंग एंड लॉन्ग गेम आई थिंक 
if you look at his age, he's very young. If you compare it with uh, leaders of his party or leaders of any other part party, but I think he's trying to be mature and he's trying to behave in a mature manner. Yes, there is a snap, uh, snapping of the alliance, but I think still he's hopeful. Maybe who knows? After 2024 Lok Sabha election, there may be another turn. So as we as it keep happening, he don't want to utter nonsense against or harsh statement against Nitish Kumar. He's just trying to pay a respect. I think this is the way politics should. You know, like so he's not looking flustered, he's not looking hassled that he's no longer deputy CM, he seems calm. He has a sense of uh, depth and calmness to his exterior. I don't know what's going on inside, but on the exterior, he seems calm. Those are the latest images, uh, Nitish Kumar and JP Nadda uh, speaking. Remember, Nitish and uh, the Home Minister don't particularly get along very much. And JP Nadda is just easier, I suppose, also because he studied at St. Xavier, studied at Patna College, easier for Nitish Kumar to get along with. He's the closest thing to an Arun Jaitley-like character. If I easier for someone like a Nitish Kumar to get along with, then someone like a, a Amit Shah who's far more hardline, far more, uh, you know, determined to build up the BJP in Bihar on its own strength and on its own merit. So we've got Sayyid Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP now joining us. Satya Prakash Mishra is the national convener of the JDU. Ashutosh is back with us. Amitabh Tiwari has been with us all day long. Shama Mohammed from the Congress is with us. Ashutosh, is this the last uh, somersault of Nitish Kumar or could there be a twist according to you after the 24 elections like Prashant Kishore is suggesting? See, Rahul, wo Hindi mein kehte na ki Billy ko no janam milte hai. So I think this is the uh, Nitish Kumar's ninth life. No, no. The cat does. Somersaults are six. It's the ninth swearing in. So maybe if somersaults are the counting of the Billy ki lives, he still has three more. <laughs> uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. The the ninth swearing in he had. So the, even the cat doesn't get the tenth one. So uh, see, on a serious note, I think the Nitish uh, almost has played his innings. And I'm very sure about it. This whole arrangement is still 2024. And I could understand why Tejasvi seems to be so calm. Because Tejasvi now onwards, if he prepares well for the assembly elections, he can go to the to the people and say, look, we didn't come, we didn't do anything wrong. It is Nitish Kumar who left us. So he can always uh, project himself as uh, as a as ja sakte logo ke beech mein. And don't forget in 2000, uh, the last assembly elections, uh, Tejasvi has given a scare of life to Nitish Kumar and Narendra Modi both. And, the, and, the, and then uh, RJD under Tejasvi Yadav along with the Congress and the left has got 37% vote share. Uh, only a difference of 0 0.07 between the NDA and this one. So if Nitish, if Tejasvi prepares well, RJD doesn't lose his heart and uh, just uh, 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 pushing pushing the boundaries for the party, uh, Tejasvi has a good future in, in, in for the 2025. I have no doubt about it. And Nitish, if he continues with the BJP, it will restrict BJP's growth in, uh, in, 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 in Bihar. And that is where I'm a bit suspicious that after 2024 parliamentary elections, there will be another game. And in that game, uh, it will be difficult for the Nitish Kumar to survive. Sayyid Zafar Islam couldn't say very much yesterday. He was being very guarded in his responses. He can speak more frankly now. The thing though, I mean, for the 24 elections, this is advantage BJP, make no mistake. The thing for 25 though, is that you will then have to carry the Nitish baggage with you. So all the anti-incumbency built up over the 6,000 days of being in power. If he and RJD were together, BJP would have gone with a clean, clean slate. But if you go in with Nitish Kumar, then you carry that baggage of anti-incumbency to the hustings and Tejasvi comes across as the insurgent, the belligerent leader, the challenger. Unless, of course, you're planning to dump Nitish Kumar after the elections, then you too can have a clean slate. So who knows? You know, all the balls in Bihar, in the political uh, jungle are up in the air. See, three, four things I would say, Rahul. First of all, it was an unholy alliance because the people's mandate was for this NDA. Because Ditish Kumar party, Ditish Kumar's party, JTU and us, we fought together in 2-0 and uh, we got the mandate. But unfortunately, in between, he, he mentioned in front of all the media person that he left and went to Gadbandha and joined hands with RJD, but he was not satisfied with the way they were function. And he has to come back for the benefits and the welfare of the people of Bihar. So the policy which Bharatiya Janata Party follows and the entire India follows, first the nation, second the state, and third the, uh, uh, first the people and nation. 
and second the uh, uh, the party not really so not really let's not like, nobody can sit on a moral pulpit pulpit here and, because uh, so many of your leaders of islam were on record saying never let, ever let will nitish come, come back to the come. nda those are your leaders saying that i i i, I heard you and i am not denying that the fact that they have they have stated this statement in the past but what is good for the people a, a, a government where the two partners are not satisfied and not working for the welfare of the people or a government who believes in the governance model and always believe that the the whatever the the, the welfare scheme should reach to the common man on the street with uh, with 100% effectiveness so and fairness so the two we followed the two principle and this is what he followed the governance model of effectiveness and fairness and that is something which is important for the welfare of the shama mohammad even the, before the, the first the ball has been bowled in the 24 elections it looks as if it's game set match bjp their victory margin just seems to keep going up whether it is mamta fighting alone nitish going back to uh, the bjp fold all of this is just aggregating votes and seats for the nda to the disadvantage of the india alliance you see uh, we are a party of uh, we are an alliance of 29 parties so definitely there'll be problems number one number two i'm happy that the poisonous snake is gone before it bit us because he has no credibility left so you were calling him poisonous the day before yesterday when he was with you he didn't seem like a poisonous snake to and, you well well that's what i'm saying so it's it's what we we are we have realized this man you know, and be careful be of what you say because 6 no. months back 6 months later he could be back with you and then our producers will pull out shama mohammed called him a poisonous snake now he's back well, let, let me let me speak and the other very important thing zafar said that the mandate was he cheated the mandate what did what happened in 2015 zafar who won in 2015 the maha uh, maha gadbandan and what happened after that you in 2017 one fine day you formed the government so don't say things like that and let me let me also quote nitish kumar three months back he says they the bjp are altering history and obliterating what that. mahatma like gandhi stood for does he modi ever speak about bapu's name they are annihilating our history culture and values this is what nitish said five months back so abusing mr narendra modi who doesn't speak a word about bapu so that is what we understand see in politics we india alliance is strong and it will get, go strong people of india are not stupid let's understand that they understand what nitish is doing people of bihar have understood like the uh, like ashutosh mentioned i mean uh, the rjd uh, tejasvi yadav people are seeing is that he did not leave them they have left them the congress party is still here and it is nitish who is playing these games amita so, tiwari will morality have any role at all india. or do you think it's very transactional with nitish on board the bjp's bandwagon it just brings his votes to the extent possible to the bjp nda bandwagon and morality is good for shama mohammad ashutosh and the others to say on tv but it doesn't sway voter behavior when it comes to the day of polling See, I think in the Lok Sabha elections, the morality factor would not work, and JDU hopes, and even BJP hopes that the Modi factor will pull up JDU votes to the BJP. What the morality factor can have a play in the 2025 Vidhan Sabha elections, as and when it happens. See, the JDU faces a crisis of existence. Regional parties in India who do not have family control have a bleak future because what happens to JDU? after nitish kumar hangs up his boots that's a very crucial question in everybody's mind and that is also a question in the minds of voters in odisha let's say for navin patnaik's pisu chanata dal so these are the questions which jdu will be facing and there could be pressure on the jdu mlas to take a call on their future before the next vidhan sabha election see in these two states jdu adds 16 seats and the fact that Mamata has not formed an alliance with the Congress party which could have led to a loss of 6 seats notionally to the BJP in these two states itself BJP is plus 22 or the NDA is plus 22 sort of in the last few days because of the failure of the Congress to stitch or keep its partners together okay that's the big concern from the perspective of the india alliance that their parties are just leaving them their allies desert deserting them in the worst fashion possible satya prakash mishra respond to the perception that nitish kumar is a far diminished force 
far weaker than he's been in the past. Earlier, he was the senior partner. Now, he's just a subordinate, has half the seats that the BJP does. And he's pretty much at the BJP's uh, beck and call. He, he will survive if the BJP wants him to. The BJP can trip him any day. You have to understand the position of the BJP at national level. When BJP, you know, got 303 seats, there were political partners like JDU, Shiv Shena and Akali Dal. Now the Shiv Shena, fra fraction of a Shiv Shena with BJP, Akali Dal is not with the BJP and Nitish Kumar he is with now with the BJP and the NDA always get stronger when Nitish Kumar is part of the NDA. In the last, you know, Lok Sabha election, they secured 39 seats in Bihar. Nitish Kumar, he has already expressed something which I don't want to add anything on that. Even Keshi Tyagi expressed what happened in the India alliance. Now the new history will be written with the leadership of Nitish Kumar. The Prime Minister has already congratulated in a very nice and, uh, you know, very uh, praising words. So we should not go beyond that. Now, what is happening in Bihar, we have to understand that the alliance... Mr. Nitish Kumar, to the people of Bihar, is very intact, and the mass level support that BJP also understands. Okay, now so there is no nothing. You know, this, uh, this alliance is. There has never been an acrimony. There has never been an, any kind of acrimony with, with Nitish Kumar between BJP and Nitish Kumar. Nitish Kumar ji has several times expressed in a in a very simple language, "Hamara dosti kabhi khatm nahi hoga." That was a kind of indication that he wanted always. Nitish Kumar now getting set to speak to the media. I want to go across to that live visual and see if we can get the new chief minister. He's flanked by Sanjay Jha, he's flanked by Vijay Choudhury, several of the new cast and crew of the JDU, who are part of the government, standing next to him. He's looking happy, he's relieved. He's become chief minister once again for a record night time. Let's listen to Nitish Kumar. तो ये तय हो गया और अब सब दिन के लिए हम लोग एक ही साथ रहेंगे जो शुरू से थे और आज कुछ लोगों का हो गया यानी हमारे अलावे आठ लोगों का हो गया है वो तो अब बात जो बचेंगे उसको बहुत जल्दी और काफी जल्दी हो जाएगा लेकिन आज जितने लोगों का किया गया है साथ तो आप सब जानते ही हैं तीनों पार्टी का और एक इंडिपेंडेंट लड़के का किया जा चुका है तो अभी दो चीज हम बता देना चाहते हैं और दूसरा विजय कुमार सिन्हा जी का ये दोनों को हम उप मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में मान्यता दे रहे हैं ये दोनों मैंने मैं मुख्यमंत्री हूँ और मेरे बाद दो मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे एक सम्राट चौधरी जी और एक विजय कुमार सिन्हा ये दोनों उप मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे आज आपको इसकी घोषणा भी दो हजार बिहार के हित में और पूरे इलाके के और बिहार के विकास के लिए हम काम करते हैं इसी काम को आगे बढ़ाएंगे तो इसी में हम ना लगे रहे और सब कुछ नहीं आप मालूम है भाई कि हम अलग हो गए थे हम यहाँ हैं भाई सब को एक फुट करके चार रहे थे कि तेजी से तो सब कुछ कर नहीं रहा था तो कार्य हो ही गया था तो वही लोग ज्यादा चाह रहा था बड़ा खुशी प्रकट करता था वही फिर आ गए और अब इधर उधर जाने का सवाल नीतीश कुमार हैज यू बीन फुली एबल टू एक्सप्लेन इन योर व्यू संजय कुमार वाई इज डन दिस समस्या आई डोंट थिंक दैट ही हैज बीन एबल टू एक्सप्लेन आइडर टू द पॉलिटिक्स द लीडर्स और इवन टू द पीपल ऑफ द ऑफ बिहार द लेम एक्सक्यूज ही हैज बीन सेइंग is that i was feeling uncomfortable things were not going very well within the india alliance so things were not moving 
So I decided to leave because I was not feeling very good about being in the India Alliance. That's not an excuse. That's kind of a lame excuse. Uh, you have to tell something more to the people of Bihar, people who have elected you to the assembly, people who have made you the chief minister, that what was seriously wrong, why you left the alliance. So in my opinion, I don't think he has been able to offer... Amitabh Tiwari, what's your hot take on this? The fact that Nitish Kumar said, I was uncomfortable, I mean, does he at all explain, Bihar of course is a very sophisticated state politically, is he at all able to explain why he's made this move? So this time he has failed miserably in explaining why he has made the move. Because what he is saying essentially is that Congress did not help me to get together regional parties to defeat the BJP. So I am joining hands with the BJP. Essentially, what this is what his means, correct? So no, I mean he is not able to explain, and clearly he uh, uh, wants to retain the 16 Lok Sabha seats which he won, and he sees. Mahagadbandan or RJD as a potential challenger, he sees that BJP does not have leaders of his, of his stature and BJP might need to still hold on to his uh, hands to ensure victory in the Vidhan Sabha elections and that's why he has taken this move because he has his eyes on the CM chair even in 2025 Vidhan Sabha elections and he feels that the BJP will not be able to develop leadership to replace him uh, in in the upcoming uh, Vidhan Sabha elections, which is to be held around one and a half years from now. You know, Nitish Kumar said, "Pehle yahi the, beech mein kahi chale gaye the. Ab idhar udhar jaane ka sawal nahi hai." Ashutosh, will anybody buy that, or do you think, given the number of somersaults he's made, he can say, "Ab idhar udhar jaane ka sawal nahi hai," uh, but nobody will really buy that kind of a comment. Rahul, do you remember the uh, one and a half year back when he left BJP? What did he say? He said, "Ki ab mar jaunga, lekin nahi jaunga." <laughs> You know, that, that was his language. So don't trust what he's saying. Uh, if tomorrow it suits to him, he would like to switch. But whether he will be acceptable to RJD, that's a different uh, story altogether. See, what is how it has to be noticed is, and I think Sanjay Kumar is right there, that Nitish Kumar did not, did, this time did not find an excuse to attack RJD and give some reason. He's not saying that the RJD is, uh, uh, there's so much corruption, our RJD did not let him work. Nothing of that, that sort. And don't forget, even the, even the Tejasvi Yadav is also being very circumspect while attacking Nitish Kumar. I think because Nitish Kumar this time has no reason to blame RJD or the Tejasvi Yadav for ditching this alliance. The basic reason is that his party was imploding. The party was vertically dividing between the, between the RJD supporter and the BJP supporter. And finally, he realized that if the party is breaking down uh, before parliamentary elections, then it will be a disaster for him. So let's buy some time. I think it's buying time till 2024. He also knows that he is on a very slippery wicket and he somehow would like to, uh, to play like, a, like, a, like a, the, the typical like a, like a gambler. That till he has got a penny in his hand, he always believed that he can get back the money he lost. So he is he is playing that 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 gambler's game. You know nothing that Home Minister Amit Shah does just happens to be happenstance. Uh, he's put out a tweet. It's very interesting. The person he met today, he's not said anything about Nitish Kumar just yet. He may in some time, but he's met with Dr. Mohan Yadav, the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, also a Yadav leader, and the BJP hoping to break the RJD's Yadav vote bank. He says, "Aaj Madhya Pradesh ke Mukhya Mantri Mohan Yadav ji se mulaakat hui aur Pradesh ke vikas va sushasan se jude vibhin muddo par sarthik charcha hui." So basically, he met with the Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister, spoke about good governance, and the expectation, Amitabh Tiwari, that the BJP has is that they'll be able to win some Yadav votes. So, A, you've got Modi on the ticket. Uh, it's an election which is for the parliament. And B, you've just made Mohan Yadav, your chief minister, showing that you've got some space politically for the Yadav community as well. Could that lead to some percentage of the Yadavs potentially leaving the RJD fold, switching over to the BJP in the Lok Sabha elections? See, even during 2014 and 19, uh, some percentage of Yadav voters and Sanjay Jay would, would, would correct me if I'm wrong. I think the number was around 20 to 25 percent. Largely the, the, the young Yadav, the, the 18 to 25, 18 to 35 year age uh, Yadav voter did switch to BJP. And the party hopes that with this message that it is not only the Samajwadi party or the RJD who can install 
Ayada Chief Minister, the RJD, the BJP, sorry, the BJP today also can make Ayada Chief Minister. It has sent out a message to the community and it's also signaling sort of a Yada versus non Yada politics, which it has done in the Hindi heartland for the past 10 years with Mohan Yadav's appointment. It is, it is sending a signal that it is not averse to Yadav's, it is not anti Yadav. At the same time, it is trying to broaden the OBC coalition. The lower OBC vote is already with the BJP. It has doubled from 22% in 2009 to 44% as per CSDS data. And it also now wants to add the upper or the forward OBC like Yadav's. And with Sanjay Nitish Kumar, does the Yadav also... vote split because Mohan Yadav, apart from everything else, you got Modi on the ticket, it's a national election, you got JDU also. What percentage of the incremental Yadav vote could switch to the RJ, from the uh, RJD to the BJP? See, if you look at the past electoral data, there is a clear trend, Rahul, that if you look at the assembly election, the Yadav vote remains united in favor of RJD in Bihar and also for Samajwadi Party in UP. But as soon as you look at the Lok Sabha elections and look at the 2014 and 2019, there is a big difference. There is a shift of Yadav vote in favor of BJP. We have seen that happening in 2014 and 2019. Now with having a chief minister with a surname Yadav, and you remember Rahul that he was sent to Bihar few days ago, I think he's sending out a clear message that this is a party which can also have a Yadav chief minister. And I sense that in 2024, he, BJP will be able to mobilize some more Yadav vote in its favor uh, because it's, they are trying to send out a very strong signal that they are the one who are the real uh, bel well-wishers of the Yadavs. And the Samajwadi OBCs. party leader Akhilesh Yadav has put out a post. I want to take our viewers through Akhilesh Yadav's first reaction after Nitish Kumar was sworn in. This is Bajpa ka Lok Sabha Chunav Harne ki Hatasha ka Natija hai. BJP is afraid they lose the Lok Sabha election, which is why they've done this. Jisne Sazish karke, ek Bhavi Pradhan Mantri ko apne saath milakar Mukhya Mantri ke pat taki simit kar diya, which is why they've taken a potential Prime Ministerial candidate and restricted him to being a Chief Minister. Bajpa ne Bihar ki janta ka apman kiya hai aur janmat ka bhi. They've insulted the people of Bihar and the mandate that the people gave in the last elections. Uh, which isn't really true because in the last elections the JDU and the BJP had fought together, but that's what Akhilesh is saying. Janta is apman ka java, bhajpa gadbandhan ko lok sabha ka chunav hara kar degi. Bihar ka har nivasi apna alag vote, apna agla vote, Bihar ke samman ko bachane ke le dalega aur bhajpa ko hara ne ke le. So it looks as if Akhilesh Yadav, for what it's worth at this moment, still strongly on the side of the India alliance. He's given 11 seats, Amitabh Tiwari. To the Congress, is that something you think the Congress is likely to take? Because they were asking for about 20, 11 seems to be a take it or leave it kind of offer from Akhilesh. No, essentially uh, that is, I think, low for the Congress party because though the Congress party won only two seats in 2014 Lok Sabha elections and was runner up on six seats, so that adds to eight. However, the party has... Uh, However, the party led to the loss of Mahagadbandan candidates in 10 seats. So the Congress has the potential to damage the prospects of Samajwadi party in 10 seats. In, and actually it did that in 2019. See, Samajwadi party also trying to show that it needs to contest on 60 seats is not fair because the Samajwadi party also does not have a great strike record in 2014 and 2019 Lok Sabha elections. So I think the right number for Congress, as far as my calculations, is somewhere around 12 to 16 seats. 16 seats on the upper sides is, is Sanjay what Kumar, is, where do you come out on this? How many seats do you think the Congress actually deserves? So if you look at the 2019 mm -hmm. Lok Sabha elections, there are only 14 seats where Congress has more than 10% vote. Uh, if you look at between... 14. No, but 10% is too low a benchmark. Ten, that's why I'm saying. No, I'm not, I'm not saying Aapke that. Se hai, I'm not saying that they should get 14. If you were Akhilesh, how many would you think they deserve academically? No, I, I think Akhilesh has given them a reasonable number of, uh, a reasonable number of seats. So Amitabh Tiwari is more eleven, generous to the Congress. He's yes. saying 14, you're saying 11 is more than 11. No, but if you keep coming down up till 19 seats, Congress is getting only 8% votes. So do you want a party to contest the next Lok Sabha election with only having 8% of the vote? How this party will be able to defeat the BJP? So my own sense is that 11 seat is good enough a number for Congress. They should accept this number and they should go for the 2024 elections in alliance with It almost with seems as if Shama Mohammed that the Congress is rambling along 
for the 2029 elections. It doesn't look, I mean, if you haven't been able to allocate seats in any state properly, it doesn't seem that you're serious about this election. Rahul Gandhi is busy with his yatra. It seems like you've given up on 24. You're trying to prepare and build the party for 29. I don't agree with you at all. See, what we are doing is we are taking the higher ground and we would want regional parties to have their say and them getting their seats. We, eventually, we have to win. And as you know, Rahul, we never break regional parties. We know what the Bhatia Janta Party does. NCP into two, Shiv Sena into two. What did they do in the last election? Why did Nitish come to side? Because they put Chirag Paswan LJP who fought 136 seats and only won one. So it reduced his JDU's seat numbers from about 72, they came to 43. They aged into, and they were put there by, by the Bhatia Janta Party. So Bhatia Janta Party's plan is to break up regional parties. We do not have, when we were in power from 2004 to 14 as UPA, our regional parties and our alliance partners basically thrived. We never finished off alliance partners. They have finished off even the Akali Dal, the oldest, Shiv Sena, oldest, all finished, TDP, not there anymore. So we never discussed that part. It's always the blame is on the Congress. Congress is trying their best to keep this, you know, in the history of India, you didn't have 29, now it's become 28 alliance partners coming together. So it's not going to be easy, Rahul. It's a tough one. And let me also say one more thing. Just a few months back, Nitish Kumar said, Samvidan khatre mein hai under Modi. Samvidan was in danger. Our constitution, what has happened? See, there is... Nah, as of now, the India of alliance khatre mein. As of now, the danger is to the India alliance. And also, Rahul, a swipe at you. You mentioned about what I said. What about when Modi says that uh, Ajit Pawar is the most corrupt man? You must take this up to him. Ajit Pawar is with him now. Ajit Pawar is the best guy in town. So please, let's not point fingers at each other. And let's understand that this India alliance... You know, let Zafar Islam respond to that because still recently, BJP leaders were saying Nitish Kumar has lost his marbles. Unka mansik santulan bigad gaya hai. Kuch yaad nahi rehta. Parkinson ho gaya hai. You were calling him all kinds of names. Now suddenly all that's gone. Sayyid Zafar Islam, or do you think he still lost his mental balance? Well, you had uh, Sabrat Chaudhary ji. He said, Kisi vyakti ke saath koi lalai nahi, ye political lalai hai. So it was a political battle. It was nothing against Nitish Kumar or for that matter, political any other politi means you can abuse of opposition parties. It was primary. It, please do not interrupt. I didn't interrupt. Doesn't mean you are losing the uh, plot, doesn't mean that you should start shouting here. So all I'm trying to tell you that uh, it, is, it is for the welfare of the people and that is what the Honorable Chief Minister also stated, that I was very uncomfortable with kind of the way they function. Their priorities... No, but he knew it. I don't, I don't buy that. The priority that. is not the people. No, no, one second. I don't, buy, I don't buy that, Ashutosh, because let's assume no. he, Nitish Kumar and the RJD under... They just, we had not been in power. You can say it's an untested commodity. He suffocated with the BJP. He wants to give the RJD alliance a shot. He had been in the RJD alliance. So therefore, this time, Tejasvi has probably been more mature than he was last time. They've been less irresponsible than the last time. There is nothing that Nitish can say he didn't know, which is why he's left. He's not explained why he was unhappy with the RJD. That's what I'm saying. It, it's very remarkable, uh, remarkable that the Nitish Kumar has not come out with any excuse. So I, I still maintain that the, 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 the JDU was imploding and that's one reason which he openly can't say. That party was breaking and uh, the uh, MPs were, uh, were, were trying to go towards the BJP because they knew that if the alliance happens between the RJD and the JDU, because most of the seats with JDU won last time, uh, this time the RJD was also wanted those seats. So obviously few of their MPs, which is now MPs, uh, either denied the tickets or had to, uh, would have been asked to go, to go, to go somewhere else. So it was it was a serious problem with the JDU. But see, I think the the debate is is further for the, if we take the debate to further at the, at the different level, uh, the, just focus on the two two person who have been become the deputy chief minister of uh, under Nitish this time, Samrat Chaudhary and uh, and Vijay Sinha. And who are these two leaders? These are the two leaders who have been very very aggressive with Nitish Kumar. You just just Google and find out how many times Vijay Sinha has literally literally. Uh, had uh, just uh, not abused, but has gone to that extent, has been like, breathing down his neck. Samrat Chaudhary was, is very aggressive. Last time when the, when the alliance happened, it was not Sushil Modi who became the deputy chief minister, but Tara Kishore Prasad and Renu, and Renu Devi. And both of them were very, very 
a very polite, very humble, and a very soft uh, deputy chief minister. This time, BJP has decided to have aggressive leaders and to project, because that will help them project uh, as, as a future leaders uh, from the BJP. So don't don't forget that the BJP has just randomly put, uh, 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 put uh, Samrat Chaudhary and Vijay Sinha. Islam, are you willing to accept CEO. this point on camera that Samrat Chaudhary, Vijay Sinha, very different from the last two deputy chief ministers, Renu Devi and Tarkeshwar Prasad, that they will be far more assertive, like they've been combative against Nitish the last year and a half. They'll be far more assertive and aggressive than the last two deputy CMs. Well, like a spokesperson, some are very combative, some are very... So which very, category very are you in? <laughs> but everybody is Aap doing their category the mein Where do you classify yourself, Zafar? Combative uh, uh, or non-combative? Uh, I'm a mixed one. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm both sides, as, as, as per the situation, as per the situation. Hum sabke saath hai. That's like the Nitish so, Kumar poster in Bailey Road today, hum sabke saath hai. I, I can be very nasty Nitish too. <laughs> so, like, so, but uh, on a serious note, see, everybody has a job to deliver. He has been given a task and more than task, he also understands because he's from Bihar that the politics what Nitish Kumar uh, and uh, RJD together was doing at that point in time, was not in the interest of the people or for that matter in the state of the state. So he had to fight for the people and for the state. That was his job. As a political party, as an opposition party, that's our job. But let me tell you one more thing which we, you, you are discussing for long. This will be, this, this is a turning point for uh, Mahagat Bandhan that they will, they will split now. Because many who other will political split away? parties what are you thinking suggesting? whether they, they can who will survive. Split? In this... kaane, sir. Who will split? So, they, 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 you will see, she was counting 29. Our next show, then she, will, she may not be able to count 20. And then, of course, as, as no, we answer, go down the if time, you ha If you know uh, something line, more than what I do, say it clearly. People, will be I don't make a jalebi. If you know more than I do, split. tell us clearly who will split. Uh, I, 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 I can say with conviction. I don't know whether you know or you don't know, but I can say with conviction, and she knows that this so-called Gamadia Ganbandar Who Alliance will split? Will who will survive? split? Survive. If no, the best thing to do. I say, bol reho kuch hai hai nahi. E N D Alliance. Who will split? Aap aise aise googli chhod reho. Tell us who will split. If you know who will split, tell me which party is going away. No, no, he's Rahul. making it up. Let him speak. I'll come back Let's to you. Let's focus Rahul. on on Rahul. the Modi government of BJP. How many alliance partners you have? They are getting oh, more right now. Nitish is just joined them. That's a shouting? big catch. Why are you Zafar Bhai, who else is likely to go away? She knows. I don't know. One, one, one uh, minute. I can't have everybody speak in the same way. Zafar Bhai, who is there, likely to split? Tell me about it. You're talking like this. Rahul, there are certain things which needs to be understood. Not to be spoken. No, why so not? I, I am not understanding. Please speak clearly. Sir, I am not understanding. Speak clearly. So I am speaking clearly. That 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 this Mahagathbandhan or uh, India Alliance or Gamandia Gathbandhan will not survive. You will see it will break Ashutosh, right in the middle. What's your and political you sense telling you? Could Zafar Islam be right? Could more parties split? Soon you will see that. Or do you think he's just doing kite flying? See, unless unless Jafar knows that there's an Operation Lotus happening in the no Congress flying, party. Uh, unless unless Jafar Islam knows that the Operation Lotus happening in the in, in the Congress party, I don't see anything happening because this uh, this alliance this alliance. RJD, RJD Congress and, uh, and the three left parties. It is ideologically most cohesive uh, uh, alliance which uh, Tejasvi Yadav can have. And this has been a very, very cohesive since their contested elections together. And together they, can they I just command third, to more, than, more, more than 37 percent vote share. Don't forget it. The Congress still command last assembly election, almost 10 percent vote share. Left got 5 percent vote share and the RJD got more than 23 percent vote share. 37% vote share is a, is a formidable number. So the, the ideologically on the two different planes are JDU and the BJP because RJD, the, uh, JDU don't share uh, the, the same ideology which the BJP has. But all three, RJD, Congress and left are ideologically almost uh, similar in their, in their articulation and on the ground also. Yeah, yeah, but you know, BJP and JDU together are a formidable Ra combination. Ra 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 on top of that, you've got right. Lok Jan Shakti Party, you've got Upendra Kushwaha, you've got the Hindustan Awam Morcha of Jitendra Maji. All that together, you know, they may have 37, they may hold on to 37, 
but on the other side is this massive rainbow coalition that really will be difficult to take on. It's interesting to see who's commenting and who's not. Yogi Adityanath, the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister, has tweeted. I take you through what he said. Interestingly, the Home Minister Amit Shah hasn't tweeted yet. He's put another post. This time, meeting Bajan Lal, the new Rajasthan uh, Chief Minister. He ha he before that put out a post about meeting Mohan Yadav, the Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister. He hasn't said anything about Nitish Kumar becoming. Uh, CM just said, I'm sure at some point in time you will. So far, interestingly, he hasn't. Meanwhile, Yogi Adityanath has tweeted, and I take you through, Shri Nitish Kumar ji ko Bihar Rajya ke Mukhe Mantri aur Shri Samrat Chaudhary evam Vijay Sinha ji ko Up Mukhe Mantri pad ki shapat lene ki hardik badhai. Poorn vishwaas hai ki Bihar mein bani double engine ki sarkar, Ardhaniya Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji ke maag darshan mein, Rajya mein seva, sushasan aur vikas, के नए मानक स्थापित करेगी। So that's from Yogi Adityanath, the neighbouring chief minister. He is congratulating the new Bihar chief minister for being re-elected, for being re-sworn in this time round along with the BJP. Let's come back to this point. Could there be a further split in the India Alliance, Sanjay Kumar? Very difficult. Who could go? No, very difficult for me to say who could, who would go. Or will there be a split no, or not? No, AAP could split, for example, huh. because they're not being no. able to divide tickets either in Delhi yes. or in Punjab. Yes, I don't rule out uh, the India Alliance partner moving away from the India Alliance at the national level in different states. It may not happen in Bihar, but in other states it might happen. At the moment, I'm not sure whether Aam Aadmi Party is an alliance partner or not. If you consider Aam Aadmi Party... Or they Party could stay in the India Alliance and yeah, do a Mamata No, I'm energy. saying if we consider Aam Aadmi Party as an alliance partner at this moment, it might happen that Aam Aadmi Party might leave. They have already made an announcement that they are going to contest all the 13 seats in Punjab. And if they take similar kind and of a decision... remember, decisive... behind the scenes, I can tell our viewers that the Akalis and the BJP have been in dialogue. Nothing's really come off it just yet, but that's only a question of you know, reaching an agreement when they want to. If the BJP wants, that could happen as well. So you could have the Akalis and the BJP back. It's tough for the AAP and the Congress to ally because they're number one and two party. Whenever you're number one and two, if you ally, you're really just creating space for the political opposition. Delhi is easier because you're two and three. Uh, but there's, at this moment, no sign of any uh, seat adjustment. And there in Shama Mohammed lies the problem for the Congress. You just aren't moving with any pace and purpose to be able to thrash out the seat uh, distribution, which is why in October, when you had that last meeting in Bombay, when you just decided, okay, now let's focus on the assembly elections, that's when you should have been focusing on these things. By now, you should have decided your seats already. Rahul, but very important thing is, as when the alliance came into play, we knew some states were very difficult. One was Punjab, the other one West Bengal, third one is Kerala. So they will never be an no, alliance. No, West Bengal Kerala, wasn't Kerala difficult. I'm sorry. West Bengal wasn't difficult. Kerala and Punjab are. West Punjab, Bengal, you could have found a solution. Anyway, West Bengal, it's just two seats, so it's not a problem. Two seats for you. Okay. J.P. Nadda, the BJP president, who studied in Patna schooling, college, he's speaking now. Let's listen. Our Kaudre Ji, Kaudre Ji, Shri Prem Ji, Mangal Pandey Ji, and here we are in our media, all of the Varisht Sajjan Brindh. Now, we all have नीतीश कुमार जी के नेतृत्व में बिहार में नवगठित सरकार एनडीए की सरकार के शपथ ग्रहण कार्यक्रम से निवृत्त होकर यहां आपसे रुखसत हुए हैं सबसे पहली बात तो यह है कि नीतीश जी एनडीए में वापस आए हैं ये हम सब के लिए बहुत ही हर्ष का विषय है और हम यह भी मानते हैं कि ये जो हमें बिहार ने मैंडेट दिया था वह मैंडेट एनडीए को दिया था और जेडीयू का भी और नीतीश जी का भी नेचुरल अलायंस वो एनडीए ही है इसलिए ये हम सब के लिए हर्ष का विषय है कि उनका वापस आना ये बिहार के लिए और एनडीए के माध्यम से बिहार के विकास के लिए ये एक सुखद समाचार भी है और हम सब के लिए हर्ष का विषय है यह भी ऑन रिकॉर्ड है कि जब जब एनडीए की सरकार आई है तब तक तब तब 
बिहार में स्टेबिलिटी और विकास की गति ने नई छलांग लगाई है अगर हम देखें तो चाहे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हो चाहे एजुकेशन का सेक्टर हो चाहे हेल्थ का स्ट्रक्चर सेक्टर हो या लॉ एंड ऑर्डर सिचुएशन हो सभी मामलों में जब जब एनडीए ने लीड किया है और एनडीए की सरकार आई है तो बिहार हमेशा विकास की गति को एक अपने आप में गति मिली है और इसमें भी कोई दो राय नहीं है कि वर्तमान परिस्थिति में लॉ एंड ऑर्डर एक तरीके से चरमरा रहा था आज जब भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ और एनडीए का अलायंस बनता है तो स्टेबिलिटी आती है और उसी से लॉ एंड ऑर्डर को कंट्रोल करने में एक बहुत बड़ा एक अहम भूमिका भी रहती है प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में अब ये डबल इंजन की सरकार में उन्होंने जो निश्चय लिया है उसके बहुत ही अच्छे प्रमाण और अच्छे प्रभाव बिहार के दृष्टि से होगा ऐसा हमारा विश्वास है साथ ही साथ प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में आने वाले समय में बिहार लोकसभा में स्वीप करेगा और एनडीए स्वीप करेगा और विधानसभा के चुनाव में भी एनडीए की सरकार बनना निश्चित रहेगा ये हम महसूस करते हैं जहां तक इंडी अलायंस का सवाल है हम पहले भी मानते थे कि यह अनहोली अलायंस यह अनसाइंटिफिक अलायंस यह अलायंस चलने वाला नहीं है और ये जो पहले भारत जोड़ो यात्रा थी जो अपने आप में एक तरीके से बेनतीजे समाप्त हुई और ये जो अभी इनकी अन्याय यात्रा और भारत तोड़ो यात्रा है और ये जो इंडी अलायंस है ये कंसेप्चुअली फेल कर चुका है बंगाल में इसको ममता जी ने अच्छा पलीता लगाया पंजाब में जो हो रहा है वो हम सब देख रहे हैं और बिहार में जो हुआ है वो स्पष्ट रूप से बताता है कि इंडी अलायंस जो ये अलायंस था वो कॉन्सेप्ट वाइज भी और धरती पर उतरने से पहले ही यह बिफर गया है और बिखर गया है और यहां यह भी मैं कहना चाहता हूं कि ये इंडी अलायंस कोई और अलायंस नहीं था ये अलायंस परिवार बचाओ अलायंस था ये अलायंस प्रॉपर्टी बचाओ अलायंस है ये अलायंस जिन लोगों ने भ्रष्टाचार किया है उनका जमावड़ा है और यह अलायंस तुष्टिकरण को बढ़ावा देने वाला अलायंस है और आज भारत की जनता प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में ज्ञान की ओर आगे बढ़ रही है गरीब कल्याण युवाओं का उत्थान अन्नदाता के साथ आगे बढ़ने का निश्चय और नारी शक्ति को सशक्त करना इसके तरफ मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में देश आगे बढ़ रहा है इसलिए इंडी अलायंस का जो हुआ है वो आप सबके सामने है मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि बिहार में ये जो सरकार एनडीए की बनी है नीतीश जी के नेतृत्व में इसमें स्टेबिलिटी आएगी इसके कारण विकास को नई गति मिलेगी डबल इंजन की सरकार पूरी ताकत से बिहार को आगे बढ़ाने में सक्षम रहेगी और एक लंबी छलांग लगाने की तैयारी है और इसके साथ साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास सबका प्रयास और सबका साथ इसको लेकर के चलने वाला ये जो मंत्र है इसको हम आगे बढ़ाने वाले हैं इसलिए उज्जवल विकास के लिए और उज्जवल बिहार के लिए ये जो नई सरकार एनडीए की बनी है मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि ये एक उज्जवल बिहार को बढ़ाने में 
सक्षम रहेगी ऐसा मेरा मानना है धन्यवाद